Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Jeremy and I'm excited to do another vMix bootcamp. It's been a little while for me, probably not for you. You're probably watching these sequentially, but I hope that you've already learned quite a lot about vMix and there's so much more to get through. Today we are going to do three boxes and four boxes and I'm going to let you know that you've already learned the tools to make a three box and a four box. Having said that, I hope that you can use this to kind of quiz yourself, maybe try to do it without my help at first and then check your work with me. Let's get to it. I'm going to click on this and go to blank input. Click on my settings here and I'm going to name this three box. And I'm not gonna determine who's here yet. And the reason why is because the three box I'm going to pick this time is this three box.png. And as you can see, there is a pretty narrow window where we can fit uh, our talent in here. Now, I usually reserve this to professional talent. So for in this case, uh, Corey, Aaron, people who are in the studio, if you have a Packers player, for example, which did happen during this show, you might not use a three box because they're probably not gonna be dead center in the frame. I'm going to click on two and choose Aaron. And for our zoom, I can paste that in there. I'm gonna do 0 0.045 here for my pan Y, just like before. All right, and then for cropping. Now, it's, uh, it's a little bit different because actually our uh, zoom is up and down. We have a little bit less on the left and right here already. So the cropping here won't be exact, but uh, 640 is a third of 1920. And then 1920 minus 640 is 1280. And you can also see a little bit of a vmixism, if you will. Color inputs, just straight color inputs, don't uh, render in the cropping the same way that a normal input would. So you can see off to the right side here, there's a little bit of extra. That is not going to appear necessarily when your camera input is there. So another way that you can do this to check this, and this is just a bit of a side, but I do think it's really useful, is I'm going to do a video call here. If I go to color correction here and I put this on a blue here. And now I'm going to go to multi-view and I'm going to swap Aaron out here with a call. See how that edge fixes itself? Now the reason we don't do calls for everything is because you have a limit of calls. It depends on your VMix version. You might be using VMix 4K, which is limited by four calls. It's still okay to get started with color inputs, but once you start getting into these more you know, finer details, it can start to make a difference. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you might want to use something besides a color box. Like I said, VMix calls with some color correction work well. I'm still going to use color because, you know, just to stay consistent, you can always fix it down the road. So I'm going to close that there. Let's move Aaron over to the left here. I generally like uh, the one, two, three to be down the, down the line here. So even if I wanted Aaron in the center, I would probably just put Aaron on the three there. I'm going to do Corey and we're going to have basically the same thing here, right? This would be zero, four, five, cropping. 640, 1280, excellent. I'm gonna kind of ignore this for now because then my next layer is gonna cover it anyway. New talent one. And this is gonna change during the show, right? Like we are not gonna build a three box for every situation here. I really don't wanna be worried about that. I just wanna get something so that I can substitute it in later. I'm just going to manually do this pan here. I could, if I really wanted to be scientific, and I really should uh, go to what I had on layer two here and just take negative 0.66 and make it 0.66. And of course it makes sense that it's 66, right? Because it's two thirds of the way over. I was really close eyeing it up anyway. Okay, now we're gonna add a four box. Uh, real quick, I will show you that I'm, I'm going to skip the other three box right here. We have this three box and then we also have three box version two. Uh, you'll learn how to do three box version two by, your, by yourself, but for the sake of time, let's move right on to four box. I think that's going to be more useful for everyone. So I'm going to click on my second layer here and put Aaron in the top left. Since I know this is, you know, about half the size, I'm gonna start there. 
I'm actually gonna go 0.45 just to give it a little bit more wiggle room. I know that my X pan is gonna be about point or negative 0.5, and my Y pan is gonna be about 0.5. I just need to zoom in a little bit here. And here, I'm gonna crop a little bit off the bottom. Let's see, I'm gonna do, let's go 0.44 here. There we go. And then I'm gonna crop a little bit off the bottom here. So let's crop and let's go to Y2. And again, you might have to touch this up once you get actual sources in here. So yeah, as we've already covered, uh, color inputs aren't, aren't perfect. Okay, cool. So I have this, uh, I'm gonna make this 0.486, there we go. Cool, I'm gonna use this same thing for each one. So I have 0.44 and then I have negative 0.5. So for input three, I'm going to do the same. Let's go here, go to Cori. And you can see here, again, Vmix has this bug sometimes where it decouples these. So I'm gonna do that and it works. I do not know why it does that. Maybe by the time you're watching this, it will be fixed. Make sure, yep, 0.486, pan five, pan Y is 0.44. And then again, my crop here is going to be pretty similar. So I bet that you already know generally how this is going to go. I'm gonna keep going, we're doing this together. There we go. Uh, this, you can see how everything's shifted up a little bit and we're leaving room on the bottom here for the ticker. That's why that's there. So this is not going to be a uh, perfect uh, mirror of especially on the y-axis our negative uh, 0.5 is going to stay the same here but this uh this pan is not going to be perfect here so i'm going to just go about there let's do negative 0.42 excellent this here is going to be negative 0.42 and here and then i did that for input 5 so once i click input 5 here and flip in talent 2 it's just going to show up because i had set the the uh the cropping and panning already. So that is it. I'm going to rename this. I forgot to rename this four box there. Now I'm done with my three box and four box. Okay, we've built all of our main mortises. Like I said, you can add a three box version too, if you would like. Before we are done with this, I'm going to build our pip. And the pip is what we use to put Aaron in the corner and then put the gallery view next to him. That's an important part of this show. So I'm gonna add an input and add a color input. I do this differently every time, don't I? I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on two box pip. Okay, it's pretty small, but there's a border right here that I need to follow, and I'm going to put Aaron on that. So let's do Aaron. This will always be Aaron for what it's worth. And if I zoom out here, you'll see the border kind of cut in there. Uh, let's, actually that's pretty close already. So I'm gonna fill this out on the axis there. Again, I don't, I don't have any sort of guidelines here to work with because this is the first time I'm doing this. So I'm gonna crop the X axis there. I'm also gonna do a little bit of Y axis crop just a touch because even though you can't see it, there's probably a little bit of a, like a pixel down here that I wanna make sure I'm not getting. So got that there, excellent. And then next we are going to do our gallery view, which is one I had not used yet. And this one is also just gonna kind of be feeling this out. I have it down here. So you can see that bottom corner, zoom this in. You can see that there's that rounded edge on the bottom corner there that I wanna keep. And then I wanna keep the top edge as well. So I'm going to try to center this as best as I can. It doesn't need to be perfect. I just wanna, I just wanna have the gallery in there in some sort of creative way. And you know what? I think that we are in a pretty good spot there. It's gonna cut off a little bit. And you're also gonna get some zoom stuff that we're gonna to wanna to cut out there anyway. So uh, by zoom, I don't mean this zoom. I mean literally the program zoom. We're gonna cut some of that out anyway. So I think I'm gonna leave this for now. We'll fine tune it as we change this from a color input to a camera input. And I'm going to rename this PIP. And that is it. We've built our mortises, we've built our pip, and now you can use virtual inputs to create more. For example, if we have two Packers players talking back and forth, I would create a virtual input of a two box and I would just swap the layers with talent one and talent two. You can do the same with any one of these. Uh, I'm gonna let you in on something. For me, building boxes, 
it's become a little bit easy to the point now where it's actually pretty fun to do. Once you get the numbers in your head, you just start getting creative with this. And we're going to do a bonus episode at the end of this series that shows you a different way to build these mortises that isn't technically a mortise, it just becomes a layering exercise. And that is for those of you who don't want to use Photoshop to build your PNGs. So uh, look forward to that later on. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.